job listing. Angler wanted. That's me. That's what I look like. morning light fills your eyes as you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Morrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jacket of rocks along the bay. Did you notice the see- uh, did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later and discuss more details. I'll let you get out there and catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by the, uh, get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on on the time. It can really creep up on you. Let's get out on the sea. Six AM. Got a line for shallow water. Pull up. You step onto the dock at Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go to paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell the fish at the local market, paying off your debt, and turn it in to keep the population fed and satisfied. Understood? Got it. Off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Hmm. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? 
He, it takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay for your fish. The bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you are still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. Hmm. But let's see what you got. $136 for fish. Thank you for your service. The mayor standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you uh, can make use of something. Why don't you take it? Okay. One last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she can help you make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Okay. As you walk into the yard, the shipwright is making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make some improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not some I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugged and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. <sighs> Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So what do I have? Coastal? I mean, shallow. Two hours. Let's go take a nap. Let's get out there nice and early. Squid, arrow squid.
Let a special order come through for a customer. If you can fulfill it, I can pay you above normal prices. Okay. for one gold flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them uh, in when you have uh, when you have them. You also need a rod to so can handle shallow water. Fishing uh, in order to catch those, the shipwright will be able to uh, to sort that for you. I think I already have both of those. I do. Congratulations. This fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. Mm. I've got another order. They want a couple of squid and a whole black groiper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. I actually have squid, two of them. But I don't have a black groiper. A box. Uh. Let's take a quick nap. A hunchwoman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She uh, stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh. Why are you here? I've come to fish. Uh. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay. person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing east towards Little Morrow? Would you give a package to the dock worker there, please? Sure. The mayor hands you a small damp bo package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay. Let's roll. We do a little fishing. I really like the art style for this game, too. And besides the monsters we're eventually going to run into, it's a very cozy game. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels like he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. Hmm. I've given this old book a few weeks back. It didn't make much sense to me. Surely you'll get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. So true. 
operator. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves are full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man appears at you over uh, silver spectacles. Hello. Is that? No, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got any with you? Uh, anything nice with you today, perhaps? No, sir. Uh, goodbye, I guess. I don't have enough room to catch that fish. Maybe one of these small ones? Well enough. So we can read the book while we're doing stuff. So we did that. Need a black griper. Need to find a black griper. walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Morrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a uh, consent for the shipwright to expand her, uh, her facilities. The old dry dock is now operational again. I've also uh, allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. He might, uh, he might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. You're welcome. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're taking extra space. Uh, we're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard material for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Okay. have anything like that. A hundred eighty dollars for a light bulb? I thought there was one oh crap because I sold the one I thought that was the one that was like both ah. my delusional Take a look at what this fella has to say.
the door is locked. That is also locked. Alright, well then I'm leaving. There's a red light. We seen the strange red light at night it seems to be rising from the east. Yes, I actually did notice that. Can I get the light bulb now? Thank you. Squid. Sorry, that thing's gross. Yark in the water. Can't dredge, it's the name of the game. Same chance uh, to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Give me the option to say yet. Because I caught sh squid, I guess. <laughs> One's beautiful handkerchief drawn on the insides of the grotesque fish patterned with delicate crimson thread. The man is looking in through the cabin of your window. His face is mostly in shadows. I know what you took to the fish monitor. And I'll be clear, I know 
he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle, head out of the bay and cut south. I have a business proposition you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay. Oh, I think that's the mansion. Yeah, that's south. This boat is slow. The man is standing in the doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book with one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with the equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks of dark depths. You find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I merely need a few hours of your vessel uh, to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around towns about shipwrecks and other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okie dokie. It's dark. Go check out that light. Another boat. Hello, boat. That's coming after me. Oh, no. That is not a boat. That is uh, something else. Now my boat's damaged. I'm waking the neighbors. The engines blew out. Fix my ship. Ninety dollars. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out at the sea. She turns to you. Mm -hmm. What's it like out there? It's peaceful. I don't want to talk about it. It's got got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I've just got uh, need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Eh, it's not so bad here. She's gazing out to the sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a place for myself there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just to stack up, just stack it up at Steel Point whenever... Uh, when you have everything, and I'll pay you when the job's done. Okie dokie, let's take a nap. Lighthouse keeper. <sighs> what is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. 
There's a spot near Greater Mara where current carries wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from the uh, patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Thank you for your service. Port, I guess. Two engine spaces. So I can put on another engine. I'll take it. I think there was another dredge spot around here. If I'm not mistaken. Oh good. It looks like it's just jewelry. A ring. Probably not the one I need. Let's go investigate that red light. I'll grade another boat. Come on. I'm just here to pick this stuff up. No need to bother me. Hey, you dick. Turned out. Turn it back on. Are these black ripers? Yes. Volatile. Uh, yep. Ripper. I don't have enough 
enough space. Sorry. Oh no, I wasted my time! Crap. Alright. At least it's daytime. Nothing will come for me during the day, right? What this? Stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Put my hand on it. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. The town of Great Morrow burns. The lighthouse lies collapsed, its light extinguished. A red glow fills the sky behind a cyclone that drains the world. Oh, that's not very pleasant. I wonder what that was used for, the old iron chain. The Groiper. Crab oh. hmm. pot. A fiddler crab and a common crab. So dumb, I just sold my stuff. Oh wait, that's the one I that's what I was looking for. Uh, How much is that? Four hundred and sixty dollars. Whatever. Let's take a nap. I want to investigate that light. Pot. Put the 
crap on here. There's not a boat, or not a boat. That's a big key. Oh no, baby. It's time for me to go. Luckily for me, it's four o'clock. these birds doing? They stole my eel. They might not be my good one. Oh my. Still three of my fish. Thankfully not the good one. $55. Did I take damage? No. Yeah, I want the net. So I can put the net here and then I can get the thing there. Cool. Alright. Need more money. I can't even fish. like hoppy and flounder. That's gross. I got some trinkets for you, big dog. Thank you. Grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Do you know anything about the shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief racked his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's any chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Sure, I'll take a look. Well, let's read the book. Engines provide 5% more movement speed than listed. I'll take it. Now let's drop off this key to the collector. That's a new one.
wood more important than fish. eyeballing me. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room. He's still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, do you have something? You have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers and the strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seems changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is that all? Where's the lock? Collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages of his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision as you stagger back briefly. Now go. You have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that uh, the current may have carried it southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can find, uh, where you can begin your search. Anything else? Oh, I think that'll be it. Let's take a nap. Oh good, now we can boost this up. But don't run it too hot. Oh yeah, I forgot about my crabs. What's that sound? Common crab. That's better than nothing. The housekeeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. Oh, it's you. Who are you expecting? Your engine. It sounds like, I'm sorry, I mistook it for an old vessel, for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Mm. She weird, bro. I need a big crab, fiddler crab. Stage Regin.
Rods, reels, and rigs. about that belt buckle. Give him the belt buckle? Yes. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is... This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I have not money to pay you, but this may hold some value to you. Yeah, I'll take it. I better go. Thank you. there. There's no rock there either. What's happening? Hmm. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As, I've al as I always say, take frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Hmm. I don't know if that's true. I have no fish to sell. I should have got the engine. I'm stupid. Ah. I don't have enough money for that. I can buy a new light, though. <laughs> Three dollars off. Unbelievable. 